Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Liz, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you some really cool organization ideas. A few weeks back, I did kind of a mini closet makeover on my daughter Annabelle's room, and I posted it to my Instagram. Go follow me there if you're not already. And I added in some shelves. I also painted, added in a mirror. Another thing I did was add in some organization bins. Now, after I did that, I realized that I needed to add labels just so she could easily retrieve things. So I went to Dollar Tree and I picked up some of their black labels that they have. To fill out the labels, I wanted to use my Cricut Joy to easily create some labels. I want to thank Cricut for sponsoring today's video. You guys, the Cricut Joy is one of Cricut's newest machines, and this thing is small, but it does so many cool things. I can't wait to show you, and it's easily becoming my new favorite Cricut machine. Cricut has a paper called Writable Vinyl that you can use to draw just the prettiest labels and use them for your project. So to make my labels, I'm going to be using the Cricut Design Space. Now, you can either use your computer or your phone for making labels. For this one, I'm gonna be using my computer, but I'll use both and show you how they both work. So I started by creating rectangles that I could cut out. I knew that I wanted the rectangles to be 3.25 inches by 2.25 inches. So once I sized them correctly, I duplicated them so I had enough labels. Next, what you wanna do is select a writable print. That way, whenever you put it in your machine, the pen will actually draw your label on. So I found the font, Roger. I went in, added text, and wrote out all my labels, sized them to the size that I wanted them to be. Now the cool thing about the Cricut Joy is you can either select to use a mat or not use a mat. I decided for this project I was going to use a mat because it uses a pen and it cuts so you don't want your paper to move around so I figured putting it on a mat was probably the best choice. So it starts by telling you to put in your pen and it's going to draw out your labels first. Then it'll tell you to switch to the blade. From there, it's going to cut out your rectangles. Now from there, it's really easy. I just took the labels, peeled them off, and put them onto the black labels that I had picked up from Dollar Tree. And then I added them to the bins in my daughter's closet. And here's a look at how they turned out. So I've been super into these little canvas bags that they started selling recently at Ikea. So I picked up three of them to do a project. Now, when I saw these, I thought these would make really great organization for a craft space, for pens, pencils, things like this. And I imagined them hanging on my pegboard. Now for this project, I'm gonna use Cricut's mobile app. So in the Cricut design space, they have a variety of images. So I went to the image and I started searching for the pictures that I was looking for. So I wanted the picture of a pencil. When I was looking at the images, I was looking for something that would be a good cut file that wasn't gonna to be too hard for me to weed out because I like things super simple. So if it had a lot of intricate detail, I didn't use that. So I was looking for like a really simple pencil that would be easy to cut out. So once I picked out the shapes that I wanted, I just sized them so that they were all the exact same size. The Cricut Joy has a bunch of different pretty iron-on fabric, so I'm gonna be using this really pretty iron-on fabric. And when you do an iron-on, you wanna flip it so it's upside down on your mat when it cuts it out. Now, if you're writing words, you're gonna flip the image so it's reverse of each other, but since I'm just doing a pencil and some scissors, I wasn't worried about that. Then I'm just gonna put my mat in and have it cut. Now the Cricut Joy is gonna prompt you to put what material you're cutting out, which really helps because then it cuts it perfectly and you know the cut works every time. Next, I'm gonna use my Cricut tool and just weed out any excess around my images. I'll cut them out and then I'm gonna place them in the middle of my canvas. 
Next, I'm going to iron them on. So you could use an iron that you have. I'm gonna use the Cricut Easy Press at 250 degrees, and I'm gonna put it on for 15 seconds. After I put it on, I'm gonna let the paper cool before I try to peel back that little plastic coating. Now, if it still needs a little bit more heat, I'll put it on for another 15 seconds. I find that putting heat on in small increments is better than doing it for too long and then having your vinyl mess up. So I hung these on my pegboard guys and I filled them up with pens, pencils, and scissors. And I think these look adorable. How perfect are these for a craft room space? had really bad luck this year finding the Dollar Tree organization containers, but I was lucky enough to find this one like really big tote container at my Dollar Tree. Like I just think these are the best for just a dollar. Dollar Tree also had out some of their new summer toys. So I picked up several of their summer toys and I like to take these with us when we go camping because sometimes the kids need different fun things to do outside. So I grabbed some different activities that they could do and you can't beat them for a dollar. So to jazz up the bin a little bit, I wanted to use some of Cricut's adhesive back paper. This is so cool. Like it's basically scrapbook paper that has the adhesive already on it. Remember guys, I'm all about if it's easy and can Convenient. And that's what I think I like about the Cricut Joy is it's so compact that I can leave it sitting out and I can easily just type something in on my mobile app, cut it really quick, and I feel like I'm gonna use it so much more being convenient like this. So all I did to make a label for this container is go into my mobile app and I selected the font that I wanted. And then I typed out my text, Outdoor Toys. Then all you have to do is size your letters to the size that you want, and then it's gonna prompt you once you click make it to select the paper that you're gonna use. After it cuts out, the way that I applied these was I simply just pulled them off like stickers and added them to my piece because I wanted them to kind of be wonky. Now, if you wanted it to be super secure because you're worried about your kids, you can always add a layer of Mod Podge to the top. And I added in the Dollar Tree toys and I can't wait to give this to my girls for our first camping trip. So one of my tips when it comes to organizing is I don't think you immediately want to label your space. Sometimes I like to sit with the space and see how I'm really gonna use it before I start labeling. So that's kind of what I did in my office space. I have this Calic container that has three white bins and I was kind of waiting to see like what I naturally needed to put in there, things that I really used. Now that I've been in my space for a while, I kind of know which bins have certain things in it. So I wanted to create some more permanent labels for these bins. So I went into the Cricut Design Space. They have a bunch of different labels that can be used and you can just recreate them to fit into your own space. So I found some labels I liked and then I deleted the excess because I only needed to create four. I sized them to the size that I wanted them to be. Then I clicked to detach the words. From here, I just added in my own labels. I didn't change the font. I already liked the font. I thought it was really cute. And then I had to size my words so that they fit properly. You're going to have to select them and reattach them before you go to print. So I love on the Cricut Joy, they have this smart vinyl that you do not have to use a mat to cut with. Like literally you can just insert the vinyl with this smart vinyl and it cuts it so easy. So I'm gonna load my smart vinyl in without any mat and it's gonna cut out my words. Next, I'm going to weave them out And then to put them onto my containers, I'm gonna use some transfer tape and just lay it over top, pull off the backing, and then I'm gonna add these to my bins. And I think it helps to finish off this space.
Do you guys have those spaces in your house where you just try so many different things to keep it organized and sometimes your efforts always fail? We have a smaller closet that's in our laundry room that I converted to be where my girls can hang their coats and backpacks when they come in. The problem is it has a bunch of hangers so a lot of times they just kind of like shove their coats in, shove their backpacks and it all ends up on the floor. So we went through and we kind of weeded out all the excess coats to just be the things that they actually use, the backpacks that they actually use. So I thought, let me take it a step further and I'm gonna add in labels and hopefully this will help keep them organized. So Cricut also sells a product called Removable Vinyl. I love this because you can use it on things like walls and easily take it off whenever you know you wanna change the space or paint or you know have another purpose for it. So to make this kid-friendly and fun, I went into the images on Cricut Design Space. So I looked for different images for what we were going for. So I looked for a winter coat, a jacket. I couldn't find a raincoat, so I decided to go with an umbrella. And then I also wanted a backpack, and then my girls also have dance backpacks, so I found a cute little pair of ballet slippers. So once I got all the images, I decided I wanted to cut them out, but use two different colors. That way each girl had their own color and their own side of the closet. So I cut out the images. Next, I weeded out any excess vinyl. I cut the images out, and then I'm gonna use transfer vinyl on the front, and I'm gonna pull off the backing. Next, I'm just going to put them directly onto the wall above my hangers, and I'm just going to press it down and pull off that transfer tape. In the end, the girls love the way this turned out and I'll have to report back to let you know if they actually keep this organized. I don't know, but I keep trying. So for Christmas, I bought my husband, Chris, a set of AirPods, which he really loves, but it's been kind of funny because we've been getting them mixed up and then, you know, he'll have mine, I'll have mine, and they don't work with our phones. So I thought, okay, let's do something about that. So I went into Cricut Design Space and I found a monogram because they have all these projects that are already created that you can use. I love the scrolling detail it had around the edge, but I wanted to change out the letter. So I detached the letter from the outside scroll work and I removed the existing letter. Then I went through and just kind of searched in the fonts till I found one that I liked and added an L. I went back in and reattached the letters. I also wanted to use the same removable vinyl that I used because if I ever want to take it off, I don't want it to be permanent. Now when I went to cut this, I had to cut it on a mat just because I had a tiny little scrap piece and if you're using a scrap piece, you have to cut it on a mat. So I went in, cut out my monogram. I weeded it out and just used some simple transfer tape to put it onto my AirPods. I showed my husband when I got home and he thought it was pretty funny. So hopefully now we don't mix them up anymore. When I was at Dollar Tree, I came across this really cute little glass container that I thought it would be a perfect little treat container for moose. So of course I had to make a label in my Cricut. I'm gonna show you how easy it was. So I went into the images and I found a dog bone that I thought was cute and I sized it to the size that I wanted that I knew would fit on the outside of my jar. Next I went in, found a text that I liked and I typed out the word moose. Then I put the words on top of my dog bone and sized the words the way I thought they looked good. Then I went in and I selected everything. To make it so it's a cutout, you're gonna go down to the action and you're gonna select slice. From there, you can take the font off and you can see that it's now sliced out and your letters are taken out. I'm going to delete the text that I have and from there, I'm only gonna cut out the bone with the cut out little mousse. 
So I'm not gonna use a mat and I'm gonna use a permanent black vinyl to cut this out on my joy. Next, I'm gonna weed out any excess and then I'm gonna use some transfer tape to put it on the jar. So the lid of my jar definitely needed a little jazzing up, so I'm gonna use some black and white twine that I think I used from a project from Christmas. And I'm just gonna start on the back, adding in some hot glue at the base of my lid, and then I'm gonna wrap it around. Every time it goes to the back, I'm gonna add in some additional hot glue until I get to the top and I'll hot glue it in place. I'll cut off any excess. And then from there, all I did was add in some of Moose's favorite treats, and you can see he loved it. I don't know if any of you guys have girls, but my girls love Barbies. They have a lot of Barbies and we have them all over our house. The last time I was at Ikea, I found these large bins and I said, you know what? I think I'm gonna get this and just throw a bunch of Barbies in there because we have so many Barbies. So to make it more fun for my girls, I wanted to add a label to the front. I'm gonna use some of Cricut's adhesive paper to cut out the word Barbies. So I went in and I just kind of looked for a fun font that would go good with Barbies. I sized it to the size I wanted for my container, then I cut it out. And then I just pulled off the different letters like a sticker and added them to my container. So I knew my girls were gonna be dragging this container around, so I went in and added a layer of Mod Podge just to make sure it's really secure. So we have a mask bin station that is set up in our laundry room and it has some labels on it right now, but I wanted to dress them up just a little bit. So I grabbed some round labels that I had in my stash that I picked up at Dollar Tree. And I also went into my Cricut Joy and I used a fun font and a white permanent vinyl and I created three new labels that said clean, dirty, and sanitize. After I weeded out these labels, I used some transfer tape to put them onto the black labels. Next, I took off the old labels from my Dollar Tree baskets and added on these new labels. Now, when I did this, they were a little too long, so I had to cut a little bit underneath, but you really couldn't tell, and I think it makes it look more put together in the end. This organization works really well for my family. When my kids come in, they know to throw their mask there. They know where to go and find a clean mask, so I love this. All right, you guys, let me know which of these organization projects was your favorite down in the comments. I love to know your opinion. And if you're new here, make sure you're subscribed. I post two DIYs each week and I don't want you to miss out. If you'd like to check out Cricut or my Cricut Joy, I'm gonna link it for you down in the description box and I'll talk to you guys in our next one. Bye.